it's hold on this looks really dirty and i'm gonna clean it with my thing right now because this is how we this is just how we roll i have to finish my makeup um i'm i, I don't want to say i'm running late because i don't want to like claim that for myself but i'm you know time is of the essence why is this so blurry what there we go um i'm having a lot of technical difficulties look at all the devices i've got like an iphone plugged back there i've got my computer like this is just a lot everything's fine Oh god, I have to do my hair too. Where's my okay? Everything's fine. Hi, I miss you guys. I haven't done just like a chatty little get ready with me vlog in like a while. And I think it's just because I've been a bit overwhelmed with everything going on in life. And so whenever I have like in-between moments, I find myself just like taking them, like going in the hammock or doing my like little breathwork or meditation, or just like things have just all of a sudden feel like they have gotten so busy and i mean they really have but yeah it's just i'm bummed because i miss being here and i'm grateful for all of you for being so patient and hopefully you guys follow me on other platforms so you know that i'm like still uh kicking around but uh yeah it's been a while since i've been really regular here and so it's one of my goals to be more regular so if you are missing these videos i'd really love some oh why does my mask I'd really love some like thought starters on some things that you guys would like what kind of videos you'd like to see because that would really inspire me to like make them knowing that you guys are waiting for them and excited about them and just knowing like what things you're most excited about talking about so but today I guess I just thought I'd bring you along I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be but I feel like I will probably just bring you guys along in like the next few days with me because I've got like a lot of events and stuff going on I'm speaking on a panel on whoops on friday and where's my okay everything's fine hi i miss you guys i haven't done just like a chatty little get ready with me vlog in like a while and i think it's just because i've been a bit overwhelmed with everything going on in life and so whenever i have like in between moments i find myself just like taking them like going in the hammock or doing my like little breathwork or meditation or just like things have just all of a sudden feel like they have gotten so busy and i mean they really have but yeah it's just i'm bummed because i miss being here and i'm grateful for all of you for being so patient and hopefully you guys follow me on other platforms so you know that i'm like still uh, kicking around but uh yeah it's been a while since i've been really regular here and so it's one of my goals to be more regular so if you are missing these videos i'd really love some oh why does my mask care always get up here I'd really love some like thought starters on some things that you guys would like what kind of videos you'd like to see because that would really inspire me to like make them knowing that you guys are waiting for them and excited about them and just knowing like what things you're most excited about talking about so but today I guess I just thought I'd bring you along I don't know how long this vlog is going to be but I feel like I will probably just bring you guys along in like the next few days with me because I've got like a lot of events and stuff going on I'm speaking on a panel on whoops on friday and so um yeah today i'm actually going to a workshop it's with tiktok but um with apple as well and they're showing us like tips and tricks to get like really clear video and like just i don't really know exactly what we're gonna learn but i've never gotten to like learn from official apple um i've been doing some like online little tiktok creator courses if you guys follow me there i'm um alex michael may there too but yeah it's just another platform that i haven't been as active on lately i find that just instagram is still always like the easiest reach for me because i'll just do chaotic stories and like call it a day but i really miss here because honestly don't tell the others but you guys are like one of my favorite my favorite community just because i feel like i can be the most real and i don't it, like it doesn't have to like sometimes it stresses me out to try to like fit in something i'm trying to share in like 10 seconds do you know what i mean and the pressure it's like you go into that with the intention of like creating something and this is kind of free form and i'm just sharing my thoughts as they go and just like living my life and bringing you guys with me and it's nice and i really like it so hopefully there'll be more of this to come so um yeah today i'm actually going to a workshop it's with tiktok but um with apple as well and they're showing us like tips and tricks to get like really clear video and like just i don't really know exactly what we're gonna learn but i've never gotten to like learn from official apple um i've been doing some like online little tiktok creator courses if you guys follow me there i'm um alex michael may there too but yeah it's just another platform that i haven't been as active on lately i find that just instagram is still always like the easiest reach for me because i'll just do chaotic stories and like call it a day but i really miss here because honestly don't tell the others but you guys are like one of my favorite my favorite community just because i feel like i can be the most real and i don't it, like it doesn't have to like 
Sometimes it stresses me out to try to like fit in something I'm trying to share in like 10 seconds. Do you know what I mean? And the pressure, it's like you go into that with the intention of like creating something. And this is kind of free form and I'm just sharing my thoughts as they go and just like living my life and bringing you guys with me and it's nice and I really like it. So hopefully there'll be more of this to come. Um, I've been doing this little makeup look like every day. It's just a very simple, it's the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I can link it uh, if you guys missed that video of me. I've also been trying to like clean up my space. Like I put a little rug over here and like, yeah, I've been trying to keep things a little neater, which has been nice for my mental health, but there's just been a lot going on, a lot of change. Um, the way I care for myself is always changing, so that's changed. So I thought after this event, maybe I could do like a little sit down and update you guys on like wedding planning, um, work, life, etc. The cabin, uh, a lot going on with the cabin. Yeah, so come and spend the day with me. And thanks for um, being patient and hope you guys are well and comment with any video ideas. And I also just love to know how you guys have been. Like, feel free to comment. Um, I'd love, okay, let's make it a game. I love when we do this. Just comment in three words how you've been like since my last video. I would love to know. I managed to get ready. I tried to do my hair and then I ended up just putting it up, but I don't think it looks very good if I'm honest. I'm just not feeling very confident today, which is really annoying because like I wanna show up to my best at this thing and I don't like my outfit. And I think this bag makes it look cheap and dumb. <sighs> just having one of those days, you know? But we must prevail. I am definitely feeling a little funky in my like personal style lately. I'm just not feeling like me. Like I just wanna keep throwing on the same old comfortable thing and like it's chilly today and so I just put on like a skims body. I just literally have been wearing this outfit on repeat, which is totally fine. It's just, when it comes to events and like brands that I wanna align myself with and that like are a big deal, I always wanna like show up and be my best. And I know we don't have to like wear the perfect outfit to do that, so maybe I should like unattach myself to that, but yeah, I just feel like this is just like meh, you know? check out this lighting Woo! this was clean yesterday I'm gonna go out and spend a little time in the hammock okay that workshop was insane I'm actually gonna recap that for you guys it was so cool I took a bunch of videos of all the different stations they had and I'm gonna explain it <laughs> it was so cool but mostly I learned basically obviously so many of us have iPhones right or at least smartphones and like pretty much everyone right but I'm not optimizing the use. Like they taught us this really cool feature where you could save, I'll just show you guys. There were so many things that I didn't know that it could do that I think would help me implement more organization and calm in my life and just actually be able to gather all of the great recommendations. Like there's just so many different things that I thought maybe you guys would like to know too. So I think I can either make a separate video. I guess I'll do a recap of the thing. And if you guys want to know, how I use technology to kind of like streamline or add wellness to my life, whether it's like my favorite breathwork apps or like how I stay organized with lists, etc. Like I'm not great at it and I'm working on it. Um, Emily's been so helpful for me with even just calendaring. Like I used to not even keep things in a digital calendar. My friend um, Janelle is really into Notion. And so she was gonna show me that. Um, I'm just wanting to kind of like streamline all my systems 
basically i guess i'm looking for like a life makeover <laughs> i want to redo my house i want to figure out what my personal style is again i want to get back into um moving my body more and feeling stronger like there's so many things i want and i wonder if this is kind of like spring energy kind of coming through that i'm really just desiring to fix any areas of my life that i feel like i don't want to say fix but just they say like where your attention goes energy flows and instead of just complaining about the things that aren't making me happy, I kind of want to just take action, little steps every day until I see change. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know because I can share that along my little process along the way as well. Can we take a moment for how my backyard looks like right now? Like it is a disaster from the rain and just from like ever since it got tinted and then they did construction on this whole back house. And now it's just like my outdoor rug is shredded. I really need to take off these and wash them after the rain. My lights are down. Just everything is looking a fright back here. Like, look at my poor lemon tree. She's sagging so low. I'm hoping that the grass comes back to life after all the rain. But we did get a new hammock. I hope it's not wet still, because my dream right now is to be laying in the hammock. You know what? If it's lightly damp, I don't care. But I do want to show you guys, look. My little, like, cherry blossoms are blooming, and it just makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, this view just makes me so peaceful. I'm so happy. I should have come out here like 10 minutes ago and there was still sun on the hammock and that would have like absolutely blasted my happiness off into another realm. Okay, the idea of this was great, but in all honesty, it's like 40. I feel like it's like maybe 50 degrees outside. It's so cold. But my hands are ice and I feel like I'm just chattering. I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm just like chattering. But it's like I just want to be outside so badly because it's just so beautiful. And we've had rain for days and days and I just miss being out here. And I'm just watching the clouds go by. Oh, nothing makes me feel more relaxed than just spending time in nature and in my yard and in my little hammock. We got it back. I don't know if you guys remember, but it broke. I don't know if you guys saw, if you follow me on Instagram, there was a day that I was in it. It just literally ripped and I fell through to the bottom and it was alarming and sad. And that seems to happen to me a lot. I'm pretty sure that happened in my vlog when I was um, gone in Florida over New Year's. I don't remember if I included that in the vlog portion or just my Instagram, but it seems to be my plight in life. Overall, I feel like life has been so busy and whenever I have little moments like this, I'll just take 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, do like a little breath work or a meditation or come out in the yard. It's just these little moments that kind of keep you grounded throughout the day. Like I think a lot of us think that we don't have the time for self care or we don't have the time to like slow down and stop everything, but we can take five minutes, 10 minutes, like those little bits add up and I think they're very, very effective for managing stress and mental health. One thing that's been coming up for me a lot lately is I have been having quite a bit of anxiety and I think it's just everything going on. So let me just give you a lay of the land. I know it's been a while. The last video was me trying on wedding dresses from Beholden, which were gorgeous. However, I'm having trouble picking a dress because I don't know my venue, because I don't know my date, because everything has been, I feel like everything's been very challenging about wedding planning. We found our dream location. It was the most beautiful castle in Scotland. We found the perfect date, I thought, September. And then something came up with someone in my family that means they're not gonna be able to travel in that time, which it's all good news and everything is good, but it just means that I can't, like, I would have to have, like, parts of my family missing. Hold on. Well, I felt like that was my uh, sign to come inside. It was getting very cold, and Sparky was leaving, and so he came to say goodbye, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna just come inside. Although the power's out, I have um, my guidance group tonight, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Yellow Co., but I've been involved with them since, like, 2014 through helping to put on the conference and become really dear friends with like tons of like several women i've met a lot of amazing women but i've actually have a core friend group from the conference turned like organization but they do these guidance groups um it's a very cool thing if you are a solopreneur or you work from home or you're wanting to start something on your own even if you work a full-time job um it's a very cool network of women so they do these guidance groups where you're in with people you do like 12 weeks of guided um 
So we'd meet every other week for a couple hours and then um, we go through. So every time you'd like say, commit to something that you want to do by the next week and then you do a check in on it the next week and then you can ask for feedback on a specific challenge. First of all, you also have to come with a celebration, which I love, but then you get feedback on specific challenges that you might have. So you can share your problem that you're having and then people can ask you questions about it and then people give guidance or feedback and it's a very cool space for it's it's technically peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. So it's kind of like a mastermind group, but it's like peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. It's very cool. So I've got my group tonight, but the power's out. And I have battery here on this camera, but I don't have a ton on my phone. So I'm trying to be very good and not be on my phone. And um, my computer is also like has this much left. Um, and I also don't have Wi-Fi. Sure, I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna see. I'm really hoping that the power comes back on, um, also because it's cold. So I think actually, since I only have like 30 minutes before the group now, I like to kind of just settle in and give myself some time to kind of just sink in from the day and kind of just, I guess, come back down to earth. Because when I'm running around throughout the day, I have so many things on my mind. Like, oh, I've this tomorrow. I've got like my call shifted tomorrow. At this time, I got this. Da, da, da. I've really, I've been having such busy weeks lately that, which is one of the reasons why I haven't been having as many videos go live here. Um, and so it's really important for me to kind of arrive into a space before I get there. So one thing I like to do is light a candle, put on specific music. Um, I like to kind of just ease my mind so I can be fully present with everyone there because it's so easy to like have your notifications be popping off or that you're thinking of things or multitasking and I like this focus time it's really cool so I think I'm actually gonna do a little bit on my Buddha board right now I laid this new rug down I do think it's so cute um but I did that over the weekend I've been finding myself really wanting to just improve my space and to do more home centric stuff just because I feel like I'm very much a reflection of what my environment looks like at any given time. And so when my environment feels like it's a mess, I feel less productive. I feel a lot more anxious and I don't know where to start and I almost can't focus on anything else yet. And yet I tend to be a very messy person. So it's a it's a very interesting conundrum. How fun is this? I just sent one to my sister and she just texted me today that she got it. And so I hope that she's, I'm gonna send her a little picture of this and tell her that I'm also Buddha boarding because I told her to do it right now. It's just the most Zen activity. I don't think about what I'm doing. I literally just let my brain do what it wants. And it comes out with the most beautiful, intricate patterns. Like I think if I was trying to do this, like I probably couldn't even, also that's an ice cream stain, don't ask. Um, I feel like I don't even think I could come up with this if I was like actually thinking or trying. Like, and I, and I feel like I'm such a kind of perfectionist when it comes to doing any projects at home or art or like crafts that I like, if it doesn't turn out well, like I shame myself and I'm sad and I feel like it didn't go well, which I know is not healthy, but with this, it disappears. And so it gives me that like freedom of knowing that it is very impermanent and that if I mess up or if I don't like it, which what is messing up even, right? That it doesn't matter. Like I'm not gonna be stuck with it forever. So I really enjoy doing this. And then the best part about it, I tend to kind of just like create something that just pleases me. It looks like a little fried egg. Then I'll like just kind of play with like filling some in. Sometimes I'll like flick, like flick stuff on here. Like I just kind of like get crazy and just, ooh, that looks cool. I just kind of like to play around with it. And then when it's done, when it dries, it almost becomes like a whole new work of art, which I absolutely love about this, is that the dried work looks nothing like where you started. Like it doesn't even make sense why some of the points stick and others don't. But yeah, it'll be really cool. I'll show you guys this as it starts to dry and you'll be like, whoa. Uh, anyway, I love doing this and just having music on, having a candle, like it helps my mind stay occupied, but also free, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this is something I like to do. I should probably stop now and put the fire on just because otherwise it's gonna get mighty cold in here as the sun completely goes down. Um, yeah, I've got my guidance group tonight. Yeah, life's just been busy. I think I was in the middle telling you about my wedding when um, Sparky came to say bye. And so we ended up having to move that date, like let go of that date. And there weren't any other dates this year that worked for us. And we don't, we, for some reason, we both feel so strongly that we want to leave 2023 married. Like we don't want to wait till 2024. 
Um, but since we've waited a long time for each other and we're ready to start our lives together and we just don't want to like wait anymore. So yeah, it was a real bummer. I cried about it for a few weeks, <laughs> if I'm honest. It just felt like it brought up a lot of stuff from my childhood about feeling, I don't even need to get into it because I'm talking to my therapist about it. And um, yeah, it just, it brings, um, weddings tend to bring up a lot of emotions, like fear around people not being able to be there or like hurt if they can't or um, the desire to please everybody and make it easy for everybody, but also honor yourself. There's so many layers to it that are really, kind of kicking my butt if I'm honest and so I feel like it should be a fun and joyous process and not be stressful so I'm kind of giving myself space to sit with it and see what comes up and I think I might work with a destination wedding planner specifically who um, has reached out and we've done a phone call and she actually follows me on Instagram and her work is beautiful if you happen to be looking for someone her name is Jessica and she works with Onyx and Redwood um, and I will link her stuff below absolutely gorgeous so I think I might work with her and just have her help me at least narrow down a location and get the ball rolling if nothing else Gosh, that's very loud. If nothing else, at least for accountability. Because what I'm finding in my life is that community and accountability are making all the difference when it comes to getting anything done. Um, having, like, I have a friend that I check in on about, like, workout and, like, eating well. Like, as far as, like, making sure that I'm, like, eating proper meals. Like, we just kind of, like, talk about that sometimes. Like, I've got different people in different areas that I check in with. Like, I've got people that I talk to about my interior stuff or the cabin or whatever. Um, but I think community, which is another reason why I love my guidance group is so important. And, um, I think if I had Jessica help me just at least I'd have a standing date on the calendar to work on the wedding. Do you know what I mean? Cause I think I realized today that it's not going to, it's not going to get planned if I don't plan it. It's not going to happen if I don't plan it. And I feel bad because I keep like kind of, I feel like I expect Sparky to just like ha have more ideas or like be more like direct about it. But in reality, like he just knows it's my big day and he just wants to make me happy and so he's like so happy and eager to like do what i want to do but also has this we have a vision a shared vision of it together we want to make sure that people can come but also it's so much less expensive to do a destination wedding abroad but there are certain people that may have trouble traveling um i know it's expensive so there's so many factors and everyone a lot of people in our lives, aside from like a handful of friends, live outside of LA. So it seems like it's going to be a destination no matter where we do it. There's just, I just didn't expect it to be so hard. And it's also so hard for me to commit to a vision because I have so many dreams in my heart and I love beautiful things and weddings and you know, like there's so many different ways that I could do it that would still be beautiful and still make me happy. And so I just want to focus on celebrating our love. Um, we could totally elope or something, but something in my spirit and my heart is calling me to celebrate our love loudly and openly because Ooh, I'm so tempted to just like go elope and have it just be us. But I tend to do that a lot. And I think for some reason I feel like called to make this an occasion and make it a celebration because I do think we deserve it. And I think a lot of this sits in worthiness for both of us. Like, are we worthy of having our dream wedding? Like, do we need all this fuss? I think we should. So I don't know if you guys can relate to that at all. That's, that's something that's really been coming up for me a lot is worthiness. Worthiness in general. Like... Uh, with work stuff, like I feel like I try so hard to make everything good because I want to prove my worth, right? And 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 there's certain times, obviously, in co professional careers and stuff where that is the case, obviously. But also, we are worthy of taking up space. We are worthy of rest. We are worthy of things, even when we are not our most productive, put together selves. And that's something that I am reminding myself of again and again. And I did bring that up with my therapist yesterday, and she gave me a gold star for that. <laughs> not physically, not literally, but. She gave me a gold star for the observation and that felt cool. So I feel like I'm doing a lot of emotional projects right now that tend to like leave me feeling a bit tired when it comes to content creation at the end of the day. But I do feel something stirring in me. I feel that the spring is going to bring this new metamorphosis version of me. Like I feel like I am rip roaring for a glow up. 
like legitimately. I feel like I wanna cut my hair and like I'm finding like I wanna discover my personal style again, like how it's changed. Um, I wanna spruce up my interiors. I find myself, I was craving going for a run yesterday because my anxiety was so high. I was like, oh, it could feel really good to just go for a run. I'm like, who? Who's in there? Who are you? Because I don't like running. But I find myself just wanting to try all these new things. Like today at this Apple workshop, we did a dance choreography. And I don't really like dancing. I feel like I'm very awkward. And sometimes I get nervous doing it in front of other people. But I had fun with it. And I was like, this is fun. Like, I just want to try new things and do new things. And just live this one wild and beautiful life that we have to the fullest. And I know that sounds so cheesy and like a little bumper sticker but it's something that's really weighing on my mind like any of my fears i want to conquer them um anything i'm ex like i want to allow myself the pleasures of living on this planet like we were not meant to be locked away to just like toil and stress like even just laying in the hammock and looking at the clouds or making a really beautiful nice comfort meal or catching up with a friend um, there's so many different ways that we can find little joys in our lives and throughout the day And so that's just what I'm kind of focused on right now, but gave you the wedding update Um, the cabin is under snow. It's been a blizzard. It has been a literal blizzard like the likes of which California has never seen before up at Little Apple and I have friends that have cabins there too and one of my friends is complete her she can't even get in her front door we aren't allowed to go there all the highways are closed um there's like 12 foot tall snow banks like it's insane and um I'm honestly a little nervous to go we're gonna light up this fire and then oh I also got a new car you guys I don't know if you do follow me on Instagram I was shopping around for a new car well it's new to me it's like a 2012 so it's not new but I found this beautiful Jeep that I love because I couldn't even get up the mountain. Um, we needed to check, obviously check on the cabin. We're going to try and go this weekend, but we can't even go. I couldn't even get up the hill in my Fiat. So I got a new car too, and then the car had problems. We had problems with the cabin. Like It feels like it's just one of those seasons where like, boom, 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 everything feels like it's falling apart. And I know everything's fine, and I'm really, really grateful for the health of my family and friends, people that I love, and my beautiful home. Like I'm fully aware of how blessed I am, and I'm so grateful that I have like employment and like all the things that I need. But it has felt scary and discouraging to have so many things feel out of control at one time hold on i'm trying to find a lighter so i can light this let's light a fire do 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 so this is a log so this will hopefully keep me warm tonight we'll see we will see um these are probably not good for me to breathe in but whatever Sometimes you just gotta take a shortcut, you know what I mean? Um, okay, here's something else. I've been really focused on eating more at home to try to save money for the wedding and to try to just like be healthier. Um, so I obviously love eating out. I decided I can eat out like once a week, um, maybe twice to, if it's like a special circumstance, but I'm trying to eat most of my meals at home and stop ordering like Postmates and stuff too. And I've been discovering all these like fun little meals and stuff I've been doing. So I've been, if you guys want what I've been eating lately, I would be happy to share because there's so many like little things that I make all the time. And so I could just like, as I'm making them, just share them with you guys, like little meal hacks because I don't, we do blue apron and I like, why oh, want this light? Aw, look, it's so nice. This is going to be so warm. I obviously want to talk to you guys because I'm all over the place and I am just chatting up a storm. Um, I have been eating a lot of like little high protein meals. I've been trying to just focus on getting more protein because I've been doing a lot of weightlifting and I noticed that my energy has been down and I've talked to a few people and I've had several people ask like, are you getting like enough protein? And I'm like, I don't think I am. So I started just like intentionally excuse me, trying to like sneak it in in different places. So like I'll have like bone broth in the morning or like as a snack with protein powder or um, I'm like, we make this buffalo chicken dip that is so insanely delicious. We'll meal prep it, like a big thing of it. Like not meal prep it, but like we'll just make a big thing. My sister's been making it for years. Oh, that thing is really cracking. Um, and 
will just eat it throughout the week. So it's so delicious. If you guys want me to share the recipe and share some of my favorite everyday little food things, I will. Um, but we keep it in the fridge and then you can just like heat a scoop up and then we eat it with these beautiful, like these oh, beautiful, they are beautiful tasting, these little like crackers and chips and then we'll eat them with like crudite. We'll have like baby carrots and broccoli and stuff like that and it's so delicious. My sister likes to make it on like a baked potato for dinner for her and her husband on like a busy night. She'll keep batches like in her freezer. Um, she makes it for us every holiday and it's like the hottest ticket and the coolest part about it is of course I'm sure you guys have had buffalo chicken dip and it has like obviously like cream cheese and ranch and like um, ch cheddar cheese that this one doesn't have dairy so that's helpful for me because I don't always react very well to dairy even though I freaking love it um, and this doesn't if you do have a nut allergy it's not for you it has cashews but it's so high protein because it has cashews like you blend cashews and make like a cashew cream kind of thing but it's so easy I swear it's not hot it's not hard it would take I think it takes maybe 15 20 minutes because you do have to boil the cashews but then it just has like shredded canned chicken hot sauce and like a few other ingredients and it, oh there's my favorite neighbor walking her son i'm sorry i'm so add right now i really genuinely cannot stay on toss on to topic i've been spending my mornings out in the front yard and so i'm getting to know more neighbors like because i used to just do it in the backyard as you guys know and so i've been spending on the front porch because i noticed the sun is better and it's been like really wet and just not great back there so i can do it on the front porch even on days where there's like rain or whatever and also my backyard just isn't making me happy right now because of how it looks and it's just like Wah. but but um, I sit in the front and I've been meeting so many more neighbors as they go by. Like I wave goodbye to the kids as they go to school and it just makes me so happy. I'm just like in like a nesting, wintering, hibernation phase. There's actually a book called Wintering that I've been meaning to check out that I've heard good things about from a lot of people. But to stay on task about the buffalo dip, there's a lot of other little like quick hacky kind of meals that I've been throwing together and really enjoying. And so if you want me to share that, I will. I'm always looking for like, and if you have other suggestions, please let me know. I'm just looking for things that are like nutritionally sound that have like fat, carbs and protein and that have like pretty good levels of protein and that's like about my only thing like it could be anything like i'm not there's nothing i'm like trying to restrict or anything like that i just like that stuff doesn't usually work for me but i find that if i feed myself properly everything else goes better i've noticed that if i like i'm like oh i'll eat later i'm not that hungry or like i'll wait like i was listening to the song that was kind of like an affirmation song and she was saying I will no longer sacrifice my nutrition and my health for the hustle. And I just really resonated with that. So anyway, that's a whole nother thing I feel like I've been endeavoring on is trying to like work out again and like get feeling stronger again and feeling more proactive about how I'm taking care of my body. Um, gosh, that's a lot. I think that about covers everything that I'm catching guys up on. I don't have any travel planned. Um, the cabin, we're waiting on the last delivery of the furniture to finally, like I haven't even like been able to sleep there because the bed in the mattress, like I don't even have the bed in the mattress. So there's like, we keep having to push the delays because the snow, we keep having to push off the deliveries. So it's been frustrating and taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but I'm just really trying to just trust the process. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of not letting the things that are out of my control upset me with exceptions of like, when my feelings are hurt or when I'm working through something that's different, I like to cry and release that and let it go. But when it comes to things like this, I'm really practicing not stressing things that I can't, that are beyond my control. Okay, I've got one more cute thing. We got the photos from Sparky and I's uh, trip when we got engaged. And just from like the last few months together, we had all this film that we didn't even know. And there's some of me and Callie too. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys some. Like, come on. This is us at um, the Soho farmhouse. Is this not the sweetest thing? Oh, these film photos are just so precious. Look how beautiful the sunlight is going through the trees. Oops, that's me in the bathtub. Why would I care? I'd post this on Instagram. It's not like straight up nudity. Like my arms covering everything important, but it was such a lovely bathtub. Um, oh my gosh, this is us in um, Lake Como, actually. How cute is that? Uh, this is us on the boat in Lake Como. Hold on if I can get it to focus. This one though, we're kissing on Lake Como. That is so cute. Oh, this is the cutest of them all. Look how happy I am. This is even before we got engaged. The Sparky aggressively eating something. I don't know what he was doing and it's scary. This is a Duomo. This is us running around town in front of the Duomo. Oh, so fun. Oh, this is the first pizza we ate. <laughs> Look how excited he was in Venice. This is us in the little town in Venice. I bought this bucket hat. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I bought this funny little bucket hat. This is just the town. I just thought that blowing curtain was so cute. I don't even know why. 
Oh my gosh, this is us on the gondola. And look at this. This is the view from the gondola at sunset in Venice. Like, tell me this is not iconic. Oh my gosh, looking at all these is really bringing me back. These, this is us at the Doge. This is us on our last day in Venice. Oh, this is the night we got engaged, you guys. This is us. We went on like a tour, Eiffel Tower tour boat. You could tell I'm like drunk and happy. <laughs> I look, I look very happy. This is like the night that we got engaged, which is so sweet. And I think that's everything from that trip, but yeah, it was just really special. We went through those and it was so fun. And yeah, I feel like I've just been slowing down, like slow living over here. Like I haven't been doing a ton of tryouts because I haven't been buying anything. I haven't been trying anything. I've just been like holed up, just working head down and also focused on like home and just snuggling up and Sparky's been super duper busy and so we haven't had a ton of time together and I've been busy and like tomorrow I have like three meetings and deadlines and an event at night and I'm speaking on a panel Friday and then I have an event and then I have another meeting like things are just very busy right now so I think this little slow time that I can take I try to take but I'm so excited about all the things coming up and i'm so excited to share them with you guys so stay tuned because there will be more coming as i promised we seem to kind of go in seasons and i'm just trying to give myself permission to work in a rhythm and not try to hold myself accountable to standards that were made up by society that i need to like stay on top of this and the algorithm and post this much like if i can't keep up with it i need to give myself grace and and do what feels right for me and show up when i can and how i can and that has to be enough because it's all i've got so anyway that being said i really missed you guys i really love this um platform more than a lot of the other ones and you guys are my actual favorites so i just wanted to thank you all for hanging in and if you're watching this thanks for spending your time with me i'm so excited about what we have upcoming and i really think you guys are gonna like it too but um just appreciate your patience in the process and now i'm gonna enjoy my fire and do my little peer-to-peer -peer mentoring session and i will catch you guys either later tonight or in the morning <laughs>